Hi friends today we shall see about some suraksha schemes that are offered in post offices first we shall look about pmsby what we call it as pradhan mantri suraksha bima yojana the scheme is available to the any individual in india from the age group 18 to 70 years so who are all have attained the age of 18 and below 70 years can enroll into the scheme and the risk coverage period of the scheme is also up to 70 years then what is the necessary thing a customer should hold to enroll into this scheme is he should possess one posb account in any post office and for enrolling into this scheme the customer have to submit the application into the post office where the account is open during the enrollment the first year premium rupees 12 will be deducted from the customer's posb account during enrollment itself and the risk coverage period will always start from 1st of june to 31st may of the subsequent year so the risk coverage period for a pmsby is from june 1 to 31st may so whenever the customer enrolls into the scheme he will be lasting the insurance coverage period or the risk coverage period up to 31st may only and on expiry of 31st may the subsequent year premium will be automatically debited from the customer's posb account provided he should maintain the necessary balance in his posb account right nomination is compulsory for this account because we are going to settle the insured amount in case of any death to the nominee only if the nomination is made so nomination is compulsory for this account and the nominee will be paid rupees 2 lakhs on the event of accidental death of insurance only in case of accident the amount of rupees 2 lakhs will be settled to the nominee not for any other normal cases of death and in case if the customer or the insurant who have enrolled into the scheme gets partial and permanent disability due to an accident then he will be directly paid rupees 1 lakh for the permanent disability okay so in case of permanent disability and it is partial then rupees 1 lakh will be settled to the insurant in case of death due to accident rupees 2 lakhs will be paid to the nominee okay then what are all the documents that are to be produced by the nominee for getting the benefit of claim first he has to produce death certificate then fir then post mortem report an age proof document of the insurant then nominee's aadhar card xerox nominee's bank account details or else nominee's posb account details then claim application in duplicate these documents have to be produced by the nominee to the post office where the account is maintained so after submitting the claim the claim will be forwarded to nodal office that is sunset mark new delhi and thereafter the claim will be sanctioned and credited into the posb account or bank account of the nominee this is all about pmsby friends then we shall go to the next suraksha scheme that is pmjjby the expansion of pmjjby pradhan mantri jeevan jyoti bima yojana for this scheme the age criteria is about from 18 years to 50 years so who are all any individual in india can enroll into the scheme after attaining 18 years and he should be below 50 years of age once if he enrolls into the scheme the risk coverage period is up to 55 years so the premium payment period is also up to 55 years and the risk coverage period is also up to 55 years the 50 years is for enrollment only the 50 years criteria has been fixed for this scheme then as usual the customer should possess an sb account for enrolling into the scheme because the premium amount will be recovered only through posb account 
that is maintained in post office. So an yearly premium of rupees 330 rupees will be deducted during enrollment and the insurance period is from all June 1 to 31st May as like PMSBY. On expiry of 31st May every year the premium of rupees 330 rupees for the subsequent year will be automatically debited during the last working days of May month. Then nomination is compulsory and in case of death of insurance the amount compensation amount rupees 2 lakhs will be settled to the nominee in this case there will be no settlement in case of partial disability or permanent disability through any means only in case of death only the amount will be settled to the nominee no other option is available in this scheme whereas in this PMJJBY the death can be happened by any reason in case of PMSBY, the death should have happened only through accidental um, uh, cause whereas in PMJJBY, any case uh, kind of death is uh, eligible for getting the claim. But the death should have happened before 55th age of the insurance. This is the eligibility for claiming the insured amount. Okay, again. Here, what are all the documents to be submitted by the claimant for claiming the 2 lakhs rupees? As usual, death certificate, age proof document of the insurance, then nominee's other card Xerox, nominee's bank account details, or post office account details, that is particularly SB account details, then claim application in duplicate. After submission, submitting all this document to the post office where the enrollment has been made, the claim papers will be accepted at the counter and it will be forwarded to Sanchet Mark Delhi for sanctioning the same. After sanctioning the claim, the claim amount will be settled into the POSB account or bank account of the nominee. This is all about PMJJBY. So here what we have to remember is the yearly premium is rupees 330 rupees the insurance risk coverage period is from june 1st to 31st may and on expiry of 31st may the next year premium will be automatically recovered from the customer's posb account nomination is compulsory and the compensation or the insured amount can be settled to the nominee only in case of death of depositor and no compensation will be made to the insurance in the cases of partial disablement through any means. So these are all the major things we have to remember for this about this scheme. Then we shall go to the pension scheme, Atal Pension Yojana, what we shortly call as APY. The eligibility criteria. Any individual who have attained the age of 18 years and is below 40 years are eligible to enroll into this APY scheme. As usual, the customer should possess one POSB account in any post office because during enrollment into this scheme, the first premium will be deducted from the POSB account only. Here, customer is having three types of premium payment method. First one is every monthly he can pay the premium or he, he should remit the amount of premium in his POSB account. Then from POSB account only the, atal, the premium of Atal Pension Yojana will be deducted. There he has three options monthly premium, quarterly premium and half yearly premium. In case of quarterly premium the premium will be recovered during the first month of the quarter and in the same case in case of half yearly premium the premium will be recovered during the first month of the half yearly period likewise the premium can be paid for atal pension yojana how the premium is calculated the premium is calculated by considering two aspects one is the pension amount there are five pension slabs that have been fixed in atal pension yojana that is rupees thousand two thousand 3000, 4000 and 5000. This is one criteria and the entry age of the customer who is going to enroll into this APY. 
that entry age and the pension slab which was selected by the customer these two criteria fixes the premium which have to be paid by the customer okay in case the customer is paying the premium regularly in case any default happens what are all the uh, penalty charges the customer have to bear in case if the um, default is made for one month the if the premium is up to 100 rupees then the default is rupees 1 per month in case if the premium amount is from 101 rupees to 500 per month then the default rupees is rupees 2 in case the premium amount is rupees 501 to 1000 per month then the default amount will be rupees 5 per month in case if the premium amount is exceeds 1000 that is from 1001 to to the last premium then the default amount is rupees 10 per month so this is all about default charges of atal pension yojana and if the customer have not paid the default and renewed the account means then automatically the account will be discontinued under the following conditions first condition if the account was not continued or not uh, premium paid exceeding six months then the account will be frozen in case if the discontinuation period exceeds after 12 months then the account will be automatically deactivated if the account was not regularized and the premium was not paid continuously for 24 months then the account will be automatically closed and the premium paid so far will be returned back to the POSB account of the customer. So this is all about default charges and discontinuation of the scheme. See this chart shows the corpus amount that are eligible for the pension slabs and also the entry age and the premium to be paid by the customer. Every details has been encrypted in this chart. You kindly go through the chart. For the customers who have opted rupees 1000 as monthly pension, the corpus amount of rupees 1.7 lakhs will be paid to the nominee in case of death of insurance. If the customer opt for 2000 rupees as monthly pension, then 3.4 lakhs rupees that is 3 lakhs 40,000 will be settled as corpus amount to the nominee. If the customer opt for 3000 rupees as monthly pension, then the corpus amount will be 5.1 lakh to the nominee. If the customer opt for 4000 rupees as monthly pension, then the corpus amount will be 6.8 lakhs to the nominee. If the customer opt for 5000 rupees as monthly pension, then the corpus amount is rupees 8.5 lakhs to the nominee. This corpus amount will be settled only to the nominee and in any case it will not be settled to the insurance only in after the death of insurance only this corpus amount will be settled to the nominee so this is all about atal pension yojana friends we shall see about one of the most revenue yielding product of india post that is popsk post office passport seva kendra this product was recently launched in India Post by 2017. Uh, an agreement has been signed between Passport Department, that is RPO Regional Passport Office, with India Post for a period of 72 months from 1 month 2017. On expiry of 72 months, the agreement will be again renewed and the business will be continued for long period. Okay. Then what are all the terms and conditions we have agreed with the passport department for setting up of POPS case. First thing is the DOP have to provide a space for setting up of POPSK as minimum requirement 300 square feet to 1000 square feet for setting up of POPS case in post offices and the Ministry of External Affairs will pay rupees 3 lakhs as infrastructure charges per site to DOP for setting up of POPS case. In turn, the DOP will additionally provide two officials from DOP on deputation basis to work at POPS case 
in the grade pay rupee 2400 in level 4 they have to be uh, deputed to POPSK for till completing their tenure in the respective attached offices in addition to that one reserve PA will be trained and will be attached to nearest post offices in case of any leave of the permanent officials working in the POPSK okay the POPSK will function five days per week since their working hours is eight eight and a half hours per day the a ministry of external affairs shall pay a commission of rupees 330 rupees for processing a single passport the commission rupees will be paid to dop on quarterly basis from the ministry of external affairs as on date 491 pops case are functioning all over india and union territories next we shall see about another major bd product that is gold sovereign bond gold sovereign bond was initially introduced during 2015 by government of india under the gold monetization scheme the gold bonds are issued by rbi on behalf of government of india who are all can purchase gold bond gold bond can be purchased by any person by single or by joint and on behalf of minor the guardian can apply for purchase of gold bonds what are all the terms and conditions for getting a gold sovereign bond the customer have to produce gold sovereign bond purchase application along with pan card xerox nationalized bank passbook first page xerox and the nomination details aadhar card xerox these are all the things the customer should produce at the time of purchase of gold sovereign bond okay how much amount of gold sovereign bond can a single person can purchase in a financial year from the starting uh, slab of 1 gram to maximum of 4 kg can be purchased in a fi single financial year by an individual okay so from 1 gram to 4 kilograms an individual can purchase gold sovereign bond in a particular financial year right what are all the extra features available in gold sovereign bond scheme in addition to the maturity value we are providing 2.5 percentage of annual normal interest that is um, simple interest we are giving uh, 2.5 percentage of interest annually at the same time we are crediting the interest amount semi annually into the bank account of the investor okay how the gold bond rates are fixed because we are selling the gold bond for one sing for a tranche of uh, six days in a week for same price how the gold bond price are fixed it was fixed by india bullion and jewelers association limited by considering the last three business days of the preceding week of purchase period so by considering the price of last three business days they are averaging it and fixing a final price for gold bond which is the rate of 999 percentage purity gold price so this is how the gold bond rate are fixed by india bullion and jewelers association limited after purchase of this gold bond the tenure of the gold bond is eight years and the same can be yearly early redemption or it can be encashed on expiry of fifth year from the date of issue where can the customer encash the gold sovereign bond the same post office where he has applied for the gold bond he has to produce the maturity application and the maturity amount will be credited into the bank account of the customer and the maturity value is calculated as usual during the same procedure followed during the purchase time that is the last three business days will be considered and the rate exist, uh, exited during the last three business days will be taken and the average of the amount will be given to the customer as maturity value during the maturity or encashment period. 
This is all about gold sovereign bond. Next we shall see about media post. What is media post? The media post product is all about providing the space of post offices and the stationary space and the um, uh, vacant lands available uh, at post offices to the private customers or any other government organizations to exhibit their products to uh, make advertisement about their products this is called media post through what are all the ways the media post products are uh, established in our department are through postcard through inland letter card that is ilc cards in envelopes aerograms and the space available in post offices and outside post office premises within the campus of post office and savings bank passbooks postal stationeries mail vans and letter box these are all the ways where the private organizations or any other government organizations can utilize or approach the post office for making their advertisement uh, boards to be exhibited there right. first we shall see about passbook how the media post is uh, implemented through passbook so at the back side of uh, POSB passbooks the media post advertisements can be printed on behalf of private or any other government organizations what are all the terms and conditions for uh, getting media post business the minimum order quantity is should be 1000 passbooks per advertisement to be given by the organization and in we are giving a feature of the customer can select the areas where the passbooks have to be circulated to the public so if the customer uh, select the places of um, passbook delivery we will send the passbook printed the advertisement printed passbooks to that particular post offices and we will um, issue the passbooks to the accounts opened there by making the advertisement for the customers who have given the business to us then what are all the tariff rates so we are offering two types of uh, media post uh, uh, tariff rates one is for single color and another is for multicolor if the if it is single color then the media post rate will be for for the passbooks from 1000 rupees to 10000 it will be around 8 rupees and from 10001 to 50000 it is 7.5 rupees then from 50,001 to 1 lakh it is 7 rupees from 1 lakh to 3 lakhs it is 6.5 rupees from 3 lakh 1 to 5 lakhs it is 6.5 rupees above 5 lakhs it is 6 rupees these rates are for single colored advertisement at the back of POSB passbooks in case of multicolor the tariffs will be for 1000 to 10,000 passbooks it is 12 rupees from 10,001 to 50,000 the tariff will be 11 rupees from 50,001 to 1 lakh it is 10.5 rupees then from 1 lakh 1 to 3 lakhs it is 10 rupees from 3 lakhs 1 to 5 lakhs it is 9.5 rupees above 5 lakhs it is 9 rupees these are all the tariff rates we are offering to the customers for exhibiting their advertisement at the back side page of POSB passbooks. In addition to the above rates, a GST at the rate of 18% have to be levied as tariff to the customers except government organizations. For government organizations, we are not levying any GST, only for private organizations and corporate customers, we are um, um, getting the GST at the rate 18%. In addition to printing of advertisement at the back of passbooks, we are offering another um, type of uh, media post business that is pasting of stickers in this case the customer by himself have to make the stickers by printing their advertisement in stickers and the stickers can be directly pasted at the back side of POSP passbooks for this business they can again we are offering two types of uh, tariff rates one is for full size if the advertisement is made for full size covering the backside uh, portion of passbook then if it is for offset then it will the another tariff rate is fixed in case of full size advertisements 
the media post rate is 5 rupees and 50 paise in addition to media post rate the customer have to um, uh, additionally provide business post rate because we are pasting the wrappers or stickers in the back side of POSB passbook by ourselves we are not hand overing the passbook to the customers for pasting the same so the customer have to uh, pay the business post rate rupees 50 paise in addition to media post rate since we are pasting the advertisement stickers at the back wrapper of the POSB passbooks so for full size the customer have to pay rupees 6 as media post charges and in case of off size uh, stickers then the media post rate is 4.50 paise and business post rate is 50 paise totally 5 rupees as media post tariff all these rates are excluding GST only again in case of government organization there is no GST if it is private organization they have to pay 18 percentage GST in addition to the above charges okay then printing of advertisement in make good postcards it is a highly visible product and can reach massive add audiences in cheaper rate because we are offering postcards at the rate of 50 paise uh, generally if it is a Meghdut postcard we are offering at the rate of 25 paise per postcard as charges so what is the space for advertisement it is 6.2 centimeters width and 8.2 centimeters height you are now able to see a sample of postcard in the screen this is how the advertisement will be printed on the postcard these types of um, Printed advertisement printed postcard is called Megdus postcard. Then, what is the rate of uh, tariff we are fixing it for this kind of advertisement? Is rupees two per postcard have to be paid by the customer who wants to acquire into this business. Then, the customer have to provide business at a minimum quantity of one lakh postcard. If the order is below 1 lakh, we are not taking any uh, Megdut postcard orders. Only from 1 lakh postcard orders only, we are accepting the Megdut postcard orders. Then we are uh, offering discounts for customers who are giving order for 5 lakh cards or above at the rate of 5% to the total value. And if the order is about 10 lakh cards or above, then we are offering 10% discount to the customers for the total value. Again, in this case also, the customer can specify the areas where the Megdut postcards are to be distributed. Then, displaying of banners, posters at post office premises. Where are all the vacant lands available? and which is belonging to the property of post or, uh, India Post there the private customers can display their banners, standees uh, uh, containing their advertisement at the post office premises and the tariff rate will be rupees 200 plus GST at the rate of 18 percentage per square feet per month if they are giving the business or if they are proposing to keep the banners or posters for a for a complete year then the tariff rate will be rupees 2000 plus gst at the rate of 18 percentage per square feet per annum to a customer so this is all the tariff rates for displaying the banners and posters at the post office premises in addition to uh, displaying the banners and posters we are offering the spaces available in and around the post offices for setting up of kiosk, canopy and umbrella at the post office premises and vacant lands. What is kiosk? What is canopy? You can see the images of kiosk, canopy and umbrella in the screen which are very familiar to us in private cases. So what are the tariff rates? For setting up of kiosk canopy and umbrella the tariff rate is rupees 3500 rupees plus gst 80 at the rate 18 percentage per post office per day 
and if they are being giving the business for a complete month or if they are proposing to set up the uh, stand, uh, kiosk or canopy for a complete month then the tariff rate will be rupees 30000 plus gst at the rate of 18 percentage per post office for a complete month this is the tariff rate for setting up of kiosk and canopy and in case if the customer wants to uh, play the advertisement videos in the lcd bar led tvs installed at post offices then there uh, there are some tariff rates described for that the what are all the conditions to display the advertisement in the post offices tvs the time slot per customer per day is 1500 seconds per day for a single customers and the slots will be 50 slots with 30 seconds duration the videos can be played at the post offices premises and the minimum period for uh, this media post category is the customer have to sign an agreement for at least three months for displaying their advertisement in the tvs installed in post offices and the tariff rates are rupees 3000 plus gst at the rate of 18 percentage per post office per month and if the same customer proposes to display their video at a minimum five post offices or more in a single division then there is a discount rate of rupees 2500 plus gst per month per post office this is all about a displaying of advertisement videos and in case the customer wants to paint their advertisement in the postal letter boxes then the tariff rate is rupees 1000 per letter box and in addition to that the customer have to pay the painting charges for post boxes as rupees 300 per letter box this is all about media post products that are available in our india post next we shall see about another product direct post what is direct post a direct post is an article that is unaddressed component to be delivered in a specified area like letters cards brochures pamphlets samples or any other promotional items this is called direct post it should be an unaddressed article that is the first and foremost eligibility for uh, having the direct post business there should not be any personal communication also and the minimum order quantity for uh, accepting the business is thousand pieces by a single customer and the pamphlets or brochures size should not exceed the size of a3 paper this is the major condition if it exceeds the size of A3 size, then we will not accept the article as under direct post category. So it should never exceed A3 size paper size. And the direct post can be approached in any post offices because now all post offices are authorized to procure direct post business. So the customer can approach any post offices for um, providing their application for direct post. And we are offering 5% discount for direct post customers who are handling or providing business for 50,000 articles at a single time. What are all the tariff rates for direct post? For articles weighing up to 20 grams, that is from 1 gram to 20 grams, if the article is to be delivered by local area, then the tariff rate is rupees 1 rupee and 50 paise. If the article is to be delivered inter cities, then the tariff is rupees 2 up to the article weight 20 grams. For every additional 20 grams of article, for local it is 1 rupees, for inter city also it is 1 rupees. So, this is all about tariff rates. Uh, what the um, measurement we are taking for local is it should be under the municipal limit or city limit that area is defined as local in the case of direct post so this is all about direct post friends 